All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you from uh, lovely Verney Park here in uh, Yokosuka, Japan, my local uh, stomping grounds. And uh, I wanted to make this video to show you guys around uh, Verney Park. It's a lovely day outside. And I also wanted to dedicate this video to my mom back home in America. Hi mom, happy Mother's Day. All right, see you guys in the next bit. So yeah, like I said, I wanted to dedicate this video to my mom. And she, she really likes roses and things like that, so a lot of flowers are in bloom here in Verney Park. So I just wanted to show them off, and they smell wonderful. There's a whole park full of roses and all kinds of flowers there. Just awesome. Give me the full 360 tour here. <laughs> So I'll just do a little walk around, show you some things, stuff like that. And I'm actually using my uh, wide-angle lens for this, even though it, you might not be able to tell. But uh, one of the weird things about my camera is because it has the built-in stabilization, uh, I found that uh, if you saw my unboxing video for this lens, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below, then uh, you'll know that when I screwed it on, there was this weird little black outline. And that was actually the, uh, the outer rim of the, uh, the lens for the camera itself. So in order for me to basically eliminate that effect whenever I move around, I just zoomed in just a little bit so that way you guys can uh, still get kind of the wide angle effect still and uh, not have to worry about those that weird black circular thingy. So yeah, that was my little workaround for that. So yeah, before we get further out by the uh, by the ocean, I wanted to show you guys some things over here which I think are pretty neat. Walking pretty fast too. Couldn't tell. But anyway, uh, here are some uh, little memorial things to uh, the ships out here in Yokosuka. And if you can read Japanese, uh, feel free to uh, read it. Actually, I think this one is for the Mikasa. I'm not sure though. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. And I don't really come out to uh, to Verney Park all that often, so. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty. Oh, that's cool. Somebody left a left a rose there. That's interesting. So cool. I'll take a picture of that later. And yeah, this is a nice little pot spot for uh, couples and stuff to have a little picnic in the shade. And just uh, just enjoy the nice weather, I guess. So here's some more monuments over here, and then once we're, we're done with these, we'll, uh, we'll move on. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Look, pigeons. Not the one. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> and some more cool stuff. <laughs> pretty cr pretty crazy stuff, eh? And just wraps around, and then you can go up to die on the left there. So now let's uh, let's go back to the ocean and uh, look at all the sights to be seen here. And uh, Burning Park is actually where the uh, Yokosuka Curry Festival was held. If you uh, watch that video, uh, a link of that will be in the description below as well. So yeah, good stuff. Oh, and here's another monument I forgot to mention. Right over here. This is fucking cool, dude. It's all like granite and everything. It's got some anchors. And the Japanese rising sun. And this thing right here. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, moving <laughs> on. Alright, that's 
Let's get some nice shots of the flowers and the ocean so you get to see uh, the ships over there. Those are the American ships and sub. Or no, Japanese sub, American ships. And some Japanese stuff over there too. So. I'll try to get it all in with this, uh, with this lens here. So. Cool stuff. It smells wonderful out here, by the way. So beautiful. A lot of these are, it appear to be imported from France, too. So, little uh, War of the Roses here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This reminds me, uh, when I was growing up as a kid, back in Ohio, uh, my mom planted uh, a bunch of roses and stuff in the backyard, and I would always, uh, always remember those. Smelling just wonderful all the time. <laughs> and here's another little uh, garden here full of roses and stuff. It's really nice. You can play around with your kids and stuff. They're playing frisbee or just running around. <laughs> it's just a wonderful day outside, man. Oh, the Princess Echo. Oh, no. yeah. So I guess we're certain rose uh, types that were made for the uh, princesses of Japan. You know? it, it just smells wonderful out here. This is probably going to like destroy my allergies then. Look, the dark lady. Da, da, da. <laughs> Cottage rose. Sophie's Rose. Sophie's Choice Rose. <laughs> and here and there. The Prince. Dark Roses. Yeah. I'm getting a little distracted here. It's, uh, we'll, get, we'll get back to the ships and stuff. I just wanted to showcase some of the, uh, some of the interesting rose names. Like those are called the Love Me Tenders. Rose of Yokohama. One singular little rose. Uh, they're, they're gonna be coming out soon, I guess. A lot of them are already It's just wonderful. Oh, here's some more rose oak. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yellow like that. Cool. Shonen Fantasy. And then, Ellen Wilmot. It's a random name, but pretty interesting looking rose. Kind of like a rose in an orchid. One crazy hybrid. Before we continue on with the roses, there's something else I gotta point out. If you're ever coming out to Yokosuka, this, you'll see steins like this a lot. Um, this is a big territory for Seahawks, so just be careful if you have like open food containers or stuff like that. So, this has been a public service announcement from the Amazon. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one's called Spanish Beauty. This whole park just smells like roses. It's awesome. <laughs> These are cool. Okay. This is Oakley Fisher. Sounds like a cookie factory. Dainty bees? Bess? Dainty Bess. Yeah. Indian Melanadina. About ready to blow. Sweet Diana, there you go, mom. Just for you, sweet Diana. <laughs> Hime, she's a princess in Japanese. I get a teardrop over here as well. And then, now back to the ships and stuff. So this is. Just literally right outside base. I'm filming base right now. So you got a Japanese. Well, here, let me. Guess I'm zooming in. Here. Okay, so this is a Japanese sub right here. Just docked. You can tell from the uh, rising sun flag right there. Next, you have some American destroyers right there. Pretty cool stuff. I'll zoom out a little bit.
Okay, so moving on to uh, the end here of the flowers, and then we'll move on to the other little garden area too. So check this one out. This one's called CI Gold Bunny. This is just wonderful. And these are called. Oh man, Niccolo Paganini. He is a uh, virtuoso violinist who was one of the main inspirations for the uh, shred guitar movement. He even has his own flower. How badass is that? There. And I guess you can buy some flowers and stuff there too. But let's uh, let's go over here. Look at uh, some more monuments and stuff. Probably. There you go. Francois Leonce Verne, the namesake of Verne Park. was French, apparently. I didn't know that. So, Verne, a French naval engineer, came to Japan in 1865 to take charge of the Yokosuka Arsenal construction at the request of the uh, Tokugawa Bakufu government, whose aim was to strengthen the country's naval forces. His duties as administrator and constructor extended beyond the Bakufu government into the Meiji Reformation with the construction of the Kananzake Lighthouse, the Hashirimitsu uh, Waterway, and the development of brick production. He also established a technical school inside the arsenal where he worked at training Japanese technicians before returning to his home country in 1876. Cool stuff. Bonsoir, Francois. <laughs> That's the French I know. And then this guy, uh, Oguri Tadamasa. Holding successive official posts as Magistrate of Finance and Magistrate of Diplomacy in the closing days of the Tokugawa Bafuku government, Oguri served as part of Japanese first delegation to the United States, and with the support of France, promoted the construction of the Yokosuka Arsenal. Uh, he also contributed greatly to Japan's modernization through the Reformation. Which also establishing a, while, while also establishing a French language school. After the restoration of imperial rule, Oguri was dismissed from his post for advocating armed or resistance and was eventually beheaded by the imperial army in his territory at Gonda village, now Kurobuchi village, Gunma prefecture. So, yay! <laughs> Anywho, enough history. Now for more flowers. <laughs> yeah. Now let's get to a really awesome part of Bernie Park. Not that the other parts weren't awesome, but <laughs> this one is especially nice. It's got the waterfall to see. There's just so, just so much to see here, and even with the wide angle lens, I don't think you can just capture it all. And sorry about the wind gust, so you can barely hear me, I apologize. I'll, I'll put some music over it, you know how I usually do. Waterfall here. Pretty cool. Oh, even, even the waterfall has like roses and stuff. That's pretty cool. You see that? Awesome. Yeah, it's flashing the lens a little bit, so. Oh, these are called blue moon. Oh, check that out. They're kind of like a palish blue pink. That's so cool. And there's more called blue light. Oh, these are cool. I dig it. I 
got a note about having this, uh, this wide angle lens is that it does put a considerable amount of heft on the camera here. So I do have to adjust my hands a bit more often than I'm used to. This is a cool little building. I guess this is where uh, people would like check in and stuff like that. So that would be uh, like the guards and stuff would stand so you could get in on the base. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Of course, no Japanese video would be complete without the vending machine. Here's your current selection of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke here too. Nice. All right. So that's about it for the uh, for the flowers and stuff. So I'll just let you guys uh, look at the ships and whatnot out here. So, like I said, this side of the base holds the uh, the American fleet and uh, Japanese submarines. That over here holds the uh, the Japanese fleet. I don't know if American subs are there or not, but <laughs> it's just an interesting little trade-off there. And uh, over here is the uh, the Japanese fleet. Oops, sorry, Japanese fleet. So watch out for crows and pigeons and other things. Don't feed them uh, bread, I guess. So. Another pro public service now. And of course, it's not saying that the birds are eating stuff. <laughs> See if they're okay. It's not bread. some Japanese ships. Do a little zoomity zoom. Show you guys. So, it's another Japanese ships there. There's some more. Zoom in. Oh shit. Sorry, it's a bit much. Still getting used to zooming out just the right amount with this lens because otherwise the little circular thingy comes back. <laughs> so I just gotta be careful about that. So yeah. And here we are. Bernie Park. So yeah, this is the Andy Sign Sign off from lovely Verney Park in Yokosuka, Japan. Thank you guys for tuning in this video and others. And also, I thank you guys for liking, thumbs, comment, subscribing, and a few friends to the party. And hey, uh, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Miss you. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.